So in this video we're going to take a look at how we can use uh, Git uh, and GitHub along with Visual Web Developer. So I'm here in GitHub. I've logged into my account. I'm going to create a new repo. And I'm going to go ahead and initialize it and create it. Okay, it's created. So now I can connect to it with Git and pull it down. I've cloned it down. If I look now, I can see that Homework 5 is on my desktop. So now I'm in the Git uh, repository, the local repository, and I can see there's nothing in there. Uh, there's nothing to do with it. There's that readme file that's in there from the uh, initialization. Now I'm going to open Visual Web Developer and connect it into that repo. So I'm going to do a new website, an empty website. I want to make sure it's using Visual Basic. And I'm going to point it into the desktop. Homework 5, that folder that I just cloned down. I'm going to create a new website in the existing location, which is this homework 5. Okay, and I know I'm in the right place because here's the readme file from the uh, GitHub initialization. There's web config. If I look in the folder, I can see the web config. So everything's working now. I've got uh, Visual Web Developer pointed into that GitHub, uh, that Git local repository, uh, and that local repository was cloned down from GitHub. So now everything's uh, together. I can look at this, and I can see that there's a web config file in there. And I'm just going to commit it now that I've got the Visual Web Developer link to it. Um, and now I have the commit. I can remove that readme file. Okay, so I've removed it out of that homework folder using the rm command, so it's gone. But it's still showing up over here in Visual Web Developer. If I just right-click and refresh the folder, now I can see that it's gone. So 
all of my changes now that I'm making in Visual Web Developer are going into this Homework 5 folder. This Homework 5 folder is a local Git repository and I can push this now to the GitHub. And if I check on GitHub, I should see this readme file gone and the web config file um, show up. So if I refresh the folder, the readme is gone, which I expected, and web config is there. So everything seems to be working correctly.